Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bible Verse for the Day. Yeah, I know I've been slacking. My bad, my bad. So now we're still in, still in the book of Matthew, chapter 11. So for the word of prayer. Father, Lord, just thank you and praise you for everything you've blessed us with and done for us. Thank you and praise you for this great word that you've given us and the guidance it gives us. I ask you, Lord, just to open our hearts and minds and souls to this word and this reading. And allow us, Lord, just to be better Christians and better followers of you. Thank you, Lord, and praise you, Lord. Amen. All right, chapter 11. When it came to pass, when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and, s- and show John again those things which you had heard and seen. The blind received their sight, the lame walked, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel gospel preached to them and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me and as they departed Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John what went ye out into the wilderness to see a reed shaken with the wind but what went ye out for to see a man clothed in soft remained behold they that wear soft clothing are in kings houses but what went ye out for to see a prophet he I say unto you, and more than a prophet, for this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. So he, I, I like how he said, uh, born of a uh, of woman, So, in other words, born of, like, humans. Jesus, yes, was born of a woman, but he was, you know, Mary was touched by God. So he's from heaven. But he's saying John is, like, out of all the humans, he's the number one guy. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Eli's, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whoever shall I like in this generation, it is like unto children, sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He hath a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous in a wine bibber a friend of publicans and sinners but wisdom is justified of her children so when he's talking about the people he's talking about like the uh, priests and rabbis and all that are just like trying to slander John and Jesus then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not woe unto thee Chorazin woe unto thee Bethsaida, for the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago with sackcloth and ashes. He's saying that these people are so blind and like so turned off, misled, that with all these miracles they still don't believe Jesus is the Son of God, which is sad, so sad. I mean, if I saw if I saw him turn water to wine, I would be like, dude. You're Jesus. <laughs> but I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee have been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. And at that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these great things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. 
Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's just so amazing. Jesus is like, just come, give me all your burdens, give me all your pain, sorrows, I'll take them and I'll make your load light and I will take your load on my shoulders. And that's how this loving God is. Send with a word of prayer. Jesus says, thank you and praise you for everything you've blessed us with and done for us. I just ask you, Father Lord, just go out there and for anybody watching that has prayer requests, Jesus, just please flow through them and bless them and, and just allow their prayer request to be heard, Jesus. Just thank you and praise you for everything you've blessed me with. Continue to bless me with safety and protect my family. Love you, Lord, and praise you, Lord. Amen. Uh, for any of those that want to leave prayer requests, please leave prayer requests. The Bible says where two or more are gathered together, He is there. So the more people that watch these videos, and if you see the prayer requests, pray for them. Pray for your other people's, and we'll, you know, we'll pray for yours. All right, thanks for watching, and tune in next time to the next episode. Love you guys. Bye.